Hi, we're back with some more Tears of the Kingdom. I'm gonna try and reach that thing. Also, we warped to up here so I could get some more fairies because I lost some. I did a little off-screen grinding. By, when I say off-screen, I was pretty much just running around for 20 minutes trying to collect materials, and I did, and I died in the underground again. I'm gonna see if I can get to that star fragment. I highly doubt that I can before four o'clock, but we'll try. Good news, it looks like it's still there. Uh, but it might disappear. Let's see. It'll turn into a- oops. I'm out of, uh... I'm not gonna die from this, right? I'll bank on it. We're good. All right, please don't disappear. Oh, wait. Did I die? No, I didn't. Star fragment! Let's go! Wow. Only one fuse part. Ah! 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 Ascend! I'm scared! <laughs> I think I'm still in danger. But on the bright side, I freaking got the star fragment. I've been wanting to get one of those for a while, because they're stupidly rare. <laughs> I should just hit you with the boomerang. Ha ha! Nice. <laughs> uh, I actually want your spoils, so let's go and get them. So I'm sure you might be wondering, what's the goal of today? Well, uh, I honestly don't know. <laughs> I don't know what I'm gonna be doing today. I just know that I'm gonna be playing the game and we'll probably find like a side quest or shrine or something to do. But I swear that I saw some like steam or something. Maybe like a smoke signal rising up from like around this area. But I don't see it anymore. I swear I saw it when I was coming over here. Oh, there it is. Yeah. Uh, oh, wait, I could get a Korok here. Let me just, uh, yo, how do they? Oh, okay, I thought I missed him. <laughs> hey, pal. Yeah. <laughs> I, I went a little overboard there. <laughs> I apologize for that. Oh, silent. Wait a minute. Is this a fairy? No. Is it? Wait, this is where a fairy used to be. Isn't it? I think a fairy used to be here. Oh, cause I think it, I think a Shikatara was like right here and I'd always fly over to here. Yo, this is definitely where a, okay, that's cool. That's cool, that's cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's take a picture of a silent princess here. Yeah, the pretty flower. Yeah, very pretty. Very pretty flower, silent princess. <laughs> um, There will probably be like a more poetic, oh, sorry, Korok. There'll probably be more po uh, poetic place to take a picture of it, but we'll just do this for now. Mighty Thistle. Might as well get these two. So yeah, I guess uh, all the freaking great fairies must have run away. Because this is where they used to be. The other one in Kakarika. Ooh. I see that. And I want a picture. No shot, you actually. Okay. Thank goodness. <laughs> okay, that's not bad. I'll take that. It's not the greatest picture of all time, but it's not bad. And we can snag you. Let's go. Okay, sorry, I just wanna like grab everything that's here. I need the freaking Sheik, you know what? I, I need the Sheik outfit. I need more sneaky. I love being sneaky so that I can just kinda walk around and be able to like take pictures of bugs and stuff without alerting the enemies. So I definitely wanna see if I could uh, get the freaking Sheik outfit. I think what I was going to do was I was gonna go back to Lookout Landing actually. Talk to Pura, tell her about the progress. Because like I wanna see if like Robbie because Robbie said he needs time to pass before we can upgrade uh, our Pura pad. Maybe time has passed enough? I feel like enough time has passed to where Lookout Landing has changed. So that maybe we could go to like Hateno Village. I, I think that's the plan. Let's go to Lookout Landing. And from there, we'll figure out what we do next. Another thing. Look, we got Wave 2, aka the final wave. I guess there's only two waves of uh, Tears of the Kingdom profile pictures. And here they are. They expire today, so luckily... I think I was uh, expired today on the first wave too. So I'm barely just getting this. We got Ganon, more links. We got Riju, Sidon, and uh, Tulin. No Yonobo, where is he? Is he just dead? Construct, uh, Boss Boko, Master Sword, and some cool backgrounds with like Ganon in here. That's cool. Okay, we're gonna snag all of these because I have enough uh, points. Yes, I do. So let's do that. And there we go. We got them all. It's a bit strange. Breath of the Wild has 85, but Tears of the Kingdom only has 40, and that's the max. Only two full waves? That's kind of weird. Then again, they're probably not doing a lot of the ones because of spoilers. Like, they don't even have Pura and Robbie on here. I guess, like, Robbie hasn't changed, but, like, Pura isn't on here. Do they, do they have Tabo from Breath of the Wild? I don't know. And there's, there's surely going to be, like, some more characters introduced. So, like, I don't know. They didn't put these on here maybe i think they want to do it like to prevent spoilers right like none of these are spoiler related like nobody who hasn't been revealed in a trailer is on this so they probably wanted to keep this uh spoiler free maybe like a few years in, uh, down the line they'll update it or maybe like the dlc they'll update it but i think for now they wanted to just get some base ones out there and they look good so i'm happy about that 
Anyways, that's the final wave, so we won't have to worry about uh, stuff like that anymore. Sorry about the quick interruption there. But yeah, now we can uh, go talk to everybody and see what the happenings have been. Let's get the old standard fit on. Hey, Pura, how's it going? Yes. Linky, welcome back. I've been hearing a lot about your adventures. Hmm. A serious cold front, food shortages, a floating ship, and there was a sighting of someone who looked like the princess. I had no idea things were that dire for the Rito. If you hadn't shown up to help out, who knows what their fate would have been. Hmm. It's become clear as day that there's a connection between Princess Zelda and the upheaval. Things are much more serious than I previously thought. I need you to hurry to the remaining regions and soon. And we need to investigate the other village I'm concerned about too. Oh? Okay, yeah, tell me more. Uh, this is exactly what you have to show using your pad for. You forget or something? Well, I guess that's in character for you, isn't it? What What do you What do you mean by that? What do you mean by that? <laughs> Can I see the pura pad? Yeah, I just want to see that. I just want to know what her recommendation is, like where we go next. That's the only thing. There are three locations left: Elden to the northeast. Ah, uh, yep, yep. Okay. Ah, okay. Monsters are pretty active uh, to the south anyway, so you're better off sticking close to here, you know? Okay, so that's where we go next. Anyway, if you need a refresher, check on the pura pads. Okay, so I just want to know like what the order is, because I kind of want to do it in the canon order. Uh, yeah, what's up about this other village? Uh, other village though, it's a relatively new place called Terrytown in Akala, northeast of here. Yeah, I know about it. I helped make it. <laughs> Hut's construction is located there. They're the same folks who built Lookout Landing and the Skyview Towers. For some reason, Zoni devices are falling near that area more than elsewhere. Hmm. There's got to be a special reason for it. If you want more info. <gasps> Talk to Atmos down in the shelter. He can probably point you in the right direction. He helps deploy the monster control crew squads to where they're needed and has extensive geographical knowledge. He can tell you more than I can about various regions and peoples. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, another thing. Joshua is recruiting for the Chasm research team. She's been struggling to find capable people to help. She's young, but a real prodigy. She outperforms most of the adults here, and she's deeply committed to her research. You might consider talking to her and seeing if there's uh, some way you can pitch in. Yeah, because I gotta do everything, right? <laughs> uh, wait. It's Hearth. What are you doing here, bro? Oh. oh, look who it is. I told Pura about all that's happened in the village. Without your guidance, I don't think Tulin would have matured so much in such a short time. <laughs> Thank you, Link. Despite everything you helped with, we'd still be helping to find Princess Zelda either way. We Rito are the obvious right pick for scouring the skies. We'll be protecting the skies and checking out the Sky Islands. Okay. Thanks, dude. I don't know why you're here, but cool. Uh, now let's see what Robbie and uh, Joshua are up to and see if we can talk to this freaking pose thing. Let's do Robbie first though. All right, so you actually haven't changed that much, Robbo. Oh, what the heck? What, since when did you get this? That's cool. That's very, can I have these by the way? No. <laughs> um, Swordsman, that's where I keep my research materials. Oh, okay then. Please, hands off, okay? Jeez, okay, sorry. <laughs> uh, that's big luminous stone, giant things, arrows. Okay, well, I do need a photo of arrows, so I hope you don't mind. <laughs> Whatever, that's fine. But yeah, uh, I gotta talk to you about uh, side quest stuff. Hi. So, remember that fragment I had? The one that showed a single mysterious figure? I found more fragments among the things our survey team brought back from the depths. And guess what? They fit together like puzzle pieces. Okay. Ta-da! Just look! I, I've i seen it, yeah. Feast your eyes upon this amazing mural. This scene shows that there's a whole series of statues down there, like the one you found for me last time. Wait, is this like a map? Ooh, maybe. But what really caught my attention is the way they're oriented. Each figure is pointed toward the next one in the series. Until it ends with that last statue facing a final destination. A building that looks like a temple. Hmm. Also, see those large ears on the figure at the front of the building? That's got to be one of the Zonai. Okay, Raru potentially. So all the other races, because we saw all the other like, there's like Hylian, not Hylians. I guess the Hylians are like little mini statues. But they have like, I, I know I saw Zora and Rito down there. So it'll be interesting. I guess, I guess Hylians were down there. They're just like kind of dumb looking. <laughs> I don't know. But yeah, this is, uh, this could be interesting. And then there's that strange hand symbol that seems to be responding to whatever the Zonai is doing. Yeah. So, to collect my thoughts on all of this, I'm pretty sure if you follow the gaze of each of those statues down there, you'll reach that structure. I'm also betting that the temple-like building holds something of Zonai origin. 
I've heard that the Zonai wielded mysterious powers. I wonder if this correlates to those powers. Of course, all of this is just speculation on my part. So... That's where you come in, swordsman. I want you to find the temple structure depicted in the mural. Wait, would the temple be what's under Hyrule Castle? Maybe it'd be like where Zelda and Link started off the game with. Hmm. Initially, I figured I could just go myself, so I gathered a bunch of bright blooms and supplies. But they pulled the kid card on me and said I couldn't go into the depths. So, here. Oh, thanks. I appreciate that. You can have these, too. Uh, wait... Uh, wait, okay, so your bright blooms disappeared, but your arrows right there didn't. Bright blooms and arrows are perfect for exploring the depths. Oh, there they go. <laughs> uh, there's the added bonus that checking out the depths might provide us with clues to help find Princess Zelda. So, if it all works out, maybe you'll snag some mysterious power for yourself and gain clues about Princess Zelda. Nothing but good things, right? Thanks for your help with this, swordsman. I was gonna say, that's gotta be a main quest. Mystery in the depths. Okay, what about this, please? You who stand before me. I am one who returns Poe's to the afterlife where they belong. Offer Poe's to me. They are spirits that ought to return to the afterlife. Okay. Uh, pitiful beings who have lost their way home and wander the depths of this land. Good. Evil. That's the futile perspective of narrow-minded beings. There is no such distinction in wandering spirits. Uh, yeah, here's a Poe, I guess. Just one? I have... So many. Okay. Yes. So oh, this is indeed a Poe. I have returned the lost spirit to the afterlife where it belongs. Since I was brought here to the surface, I have been unable to return Poe's to the afterlife. Because of you, I can assist them once again. You should take this. Dark clump. Use it in cooking to get a gloom resistant effect. Oh, that's cool. I guess. Hmm. If you offer me more Poe's, I will give you suitable compensation. Oh! Oh, interesting, okay. Ooh, Dark Tunic, yes! Yes, 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 give me that! Okay! Yo, that's awesome! <laughs> uh, well, you don't really have too much else that I would want. So I guess Pose would be infinite, then. Huh. Okay, well, I'll buy all the Dark Clumps, for sure. And... I don't think I need anything else, honestly. Hopefully, like, the... We'll get, like, the rest of the dark tunic eventually but well whatever my brethren whose spirits reside in statues far larger than mine are in the depths of this land if you encounter my brethren try offering pose to them oh yeah where are they there's more if you offer me 10 pose i will tell you the location of one of my brethren yeah go ahead tell me i acknowledge your offering i will tell you of the location of one of my brethren in the depths of the land okay maybe we'll get like other parts of the oh Go to the location indicated on your map. That's actually pretty close by. Seek out wandering spirits for my brethren in the depths of this land. Gotcha. Okay, let's take a look at that dark tunic, though. See how it looks. Yeah. That actually kind of looks nice. I won't lie. Maybe a little mismatchy, but I kind of like it. I kind of like it. Maybe it's because I have a preference for darker clothes. So, let's see here. Who would I need to talk to next? They wouldn't have anything new over here, right? Yeah, this is all the same. Wait a minute, what? Oh, they can expand! Huh. So you got the snow quill tunic over here, and arrows, Hylian rice. Cool. I don't think I've got any Hylian rice. Oh, Hestu, what the? Buddy, you're here. Hey, pal. It's you, we meet again. It's been a while, huh? So, this place is built recently, huh? It's got a good vibe, and I figure it's safe since there are lots of people here. There's so many monsters all over these days. I'm gonna stay here and relax for a while. Oh, hang on a minute. Yep, Korok moment, okay. Uh, I think I'm gonna do, cause the thing is, I don't know if he's gonna leave, that's the problem. Uh, I'm gonna say weapon then shield, cause I, I have enough bows, I think. Here you go. Let the expansion be a thing. Okay, well, he's, yeah, he's gonna call friends here too. <laughs> this is actually so adorable, dude. I could watch that all day. I, I won't. I won't do that, but I almost could. <laughs> the only question is, like, is he gonna book it back to Korok Forest after just a couple of them? He probably will, right? If it's anything like Breath of the Wild. Okay, yep, let's do shield. That way I can have some more. The, literally, the only reason why I'm doing this, I'm not even lying. Well, I guess it would be nice to have more shields, but the main reason why I'm doing this. 
sorry, I get so distracted when I watch that dance. Uh, it's for the rockets. Putting the rocket on the shield. As you can see, <laughs> I already have two rockets on. Uh, it's just so handy, dude. It's so cool. Like, they literally added rockets to be on your shield and then just snoo them upwards. It's so nice. Oh, okay. More then? We go weapons again then. Surely. Yeah. Is he going to stay here forever then? Hold on. Let's skip this and see. Sorry, I do love the dance, but I'd also have a let's play to do. <laughs> okay, two more weapon slots for a total of 12, which is quite handy. I'll do bows next if he doesn't leave. Are you gonna leave? Nope, okay. Uh, will he permanently stay here? Hmm. Now I'm curious. Got another slot for bows. If, uh, if he doesn't leave, I'm gonna do one more in each, and then I think I'll go. What do you think? Wow, okay, I guess he'll stay here for a while, huh? Maybe he just stays here for the rest of the game. Who knows? Wait, he, oh no. I think he had an upgraded version. No. I swear it sounded a little different and I skipped it. Whatever, we'll be able to see it in the future. <laughs> you know what, let's just go out with weapons. Yeah, do it. Okay, hold on. Yeah, doesn't it sound a little different? Or... Nope, I guess it's just the same. <laughs> I don't know why I thought it was different. That's weird. Okay, well now I have four more weapon slots. That's really good. That is really, really, really good. I think I might do... I think I have enough for one more bow, and then one more uh, shield, and then we'll be good to go. Yeah, that'll work. I, I should actually do... Uh, I could actually do two more shields, I think, but we'll see. No, he definitely does. It's definitely different. See? Oh no, it's the color. Oh, it's, see, his maracas are blue when he does it to the shields. But I think when he does it to the weapons, it's red. Maybe with the bows, it's green? I don't actually know. I'm just, like, theorizing. Okay, we'll do shield, and then we're out of Korok seeds, obviously. But, yeah, see, it's blue. I guess it's just the color. Cha-cha! I could, again, it's so cute. <laughs> Okay, so now we have, I think, 14 weapon slots, seven bow slots, and seven shield slots? Yeah, I think that's right. Huh. Okay. Uh, I guess he's gonna chill. Yeah, that's not bad. No, we have eight bow slots. I'm sorry. And, uh, yeah, 14 weapon slots. That's good. That's gonna be real handy. That's odd. What's up? Oh, Carson. That's right. Carson, when do you think the stable will be ready? It'll still be a while yet. Oh, I need to get the last of the roof planks uh, correctly fitted. There's only one spot to finish. Well, until the stable is ready, we can't board any more horses. What a shame. The incomplete stable. Um, well, do I not just ultra hand and do it for free? I mean, uh, this seems pretty easy. I can just, yep, <laughs> it just fell into place too, wow. No need to hammer it in or anything. Well, look at that. It fixed perfectly. Oh. Thanks for helping out. I was having a hard time figuring out how to fix it. With, what do you mean? You just... I <laughs> just... It. I didn't even, like, attach it with the goo. Uh, with the roof done, all that's left is to add the finishing touches. I'll get cracking. Son and done. Is that, like, their company catchphrase or something? Uh -huh. Quick. And quality blink and we're done that's why everyone chooses hudson construction okie dokes feeling pumped gonna get this done in one fell swoop oh my gosh it's back are you serious not the funny oh my gosh i can't believe they put it back how's that oh well this is a fine looking stable can't say I'm surprised, considering your Hudson construction is number one. Outside of Hudson himself. Mm. And thanks for your help with this little project, son. Looks great. Now we can board horses at Lookout Landing. If you need help with horses, please talk to me anytime. <laughs> that was the freest side quest of all time. Also, I need your help, bro. Ah. But he's still a craftsmanship, am I right? Gotta say, I've outdone myself this time. If you end up boarding your horses here, they'll have a luxurious time. All right, work at Lookout Landing is nearly wrapped up. Which also means I'm out of work. You wouldn't know anybody who needs a carpenter, would you? Uh, the Rito's Bridge, actually, needs a little help, buddy. They need someone to rebuild their bridge, huh? Sounds easy enough. I heard it fell apart when that blizzard struck Rito Village. 
But if they're looking to have it fixed, that strange weather must have died down, eh? Well then, no time to gab. I'll have that bridge looking good as new in less than no time. Son and done. And off he goes. All right then. Uh, I think I'm gonna... Ooh, treasure, what the... Wait, oh! Oh, oh, this must have fallen in the thing. That was on the island that I explored, like, all the way over, uh, up here somewhere. It was like a star-shaped island or something. Yeah, this thing. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna go to Rito Village, fix the bridge, and then... Ooh, what do I do after that? Maybe pay a visit to the flight range, then come back here and figure out what I'll do next. That's the plan. Oh, you know what? I never showed it off. See in the bottom right on the loading screen? There's the little thing. It shows that we uh, beat one of the temples. It's pretty cool, if you ask me. And something I also realized that I didn't do in the last episode, I turned off uh, the little Tulin helper, and he literally follows you everywhere, by the way. I, I found that out while I was grinding. He follows you literally everywhere, and he acts just like Tulin. And he helps, he fights, he does all the stuff that Tulin would do. It's really cool. The only issue is sometimes when I'm trying to pick up items, I accidentally will do this and just like shove it away. And I'm like, gosh dang it, dude. So whenever I was trying to be like sneaky, I would always turn them off. Uh, so that's why I turned them off in like, what, I didn't have them on last episode and uh, I just kind of forgot to turn them back on, I guess. Uh, anyways, uh, not here is where I need to go to. I need to go to the bridge, which is right over here. Yes, okay, as I steal their stuff. <laughs> okay, here we go. Aww. I'm sorry, Carson. I wish we had more building supplies for you to use. Now, Gasane, this is my fault, not yours. I was too rosy with my estimates. Uh, what happened, pal? Do you need wood? Ah, uh, Link, it's about the bridge job. Uh, we hit a bit of a snag. See, the thing's in worse shape than I accounted for. Whoa. Carson here estimates that we're short 20 pieces of wood, is that right? I was wondering if we were going to need wood, because wood randomly, and like Breath of the Wild, you needed like, I think like 100 of it for a side quest. I farmed up so much wood while I was off screen grinding, so thank goodness I have that wood. So yeah, I was assuming this would uh, be what we needed. Yep, we may be able to get what we need by chopping down trees, but that'll be a whole project in itself. Here you go. I have the wood in my pocket. <laughs> huh? It's wood! 20 pieces of it! Must have been a real pain in the neck collecting that on your own. You sure I can have it? Yeah, go ahead. Aces! Thanks much! Alright, that's all the materials! Come on, Kasane! Time to fix this busted bridge of yours! Son and done! Son and done. Kasane, let's plonk this down a little farther to the left. Not that far! It's fallen down the cliff! Timber! Ooh, good catch. Those wings sure come in handy, eh? Or wingy? Oh, come in handy, come in wingy, ha ha ha. Hey, don't set your tail down there. It's a support beam, not a perch. And now for the finishing touch. Here goes, I wish I could actually see this. Quick and qual, I'm not even gonna do this again. Here we go, ready for it, ready for it, here we go. Huh, 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 huh. Yep, there it is. <laughs> oh, it's so stupid. Son and done! That's so cool. You guys are so cool. The bridge, it's finished! Amazing, fantastic! Now we can carry supplies across. I gotta say, I was a little worried about how it turned out, but what a beaut! You could hit this bridge with 10 blizzards at once and it wouldn't so much as creak. It does look nice though, I must admit. Uh, with that done, life in Rito Village should return to something like normal. I will take responsibility for guarding the bridge. Please accept this gift. Oh, thanks dude. I had that money set aside for repairing the bridge, but I hope you'll get some use out of it. Yeah, and with that, I'm off to look out landing. Kasane, if you ever need my help, just say the word and I'll come running. No problem's too small. Ah. Thank you, that's very reassuring. And the same goes for you. You have an open invitation to call upon our help. Uh. A bridge connecting Hylians and Narito, literally and otherwise. This is going to make a great article. Oh yeah, that's right. You were part of the thing. Okay, well, cool. You may pass. Uh, question though, what is your spear? Feathered spear. All right, let me uh, get a little picture of that. Thank you, buddy. <laughs> Looks like you fused up a cobbin thing to it, but there we go. Just wanted to uh, steal a picture of that. And with that side quest done, let's move on back to the lookout landing. Ooh, 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 okay. 
I'm pretty sure this little, uh, the construct over here. Remember this guy? I think he can help me, uh, with my battery problem. Not battery problem, but like, you know how I only have one battery thing for Zonai charges? I need another one, and I think I have enough to upgrade it. Hey, pal. Help me out, will ya? Crystal refinery. Yes, you need a hundred, right? Get producing. One energy well will require one. Oh, oh, it's only a third of a battery? Yikes. Well, either way, get producing. Please. Please wait. Dang, that's going to take a lot of zonite for me to fill them all up. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Jeez. Well then. Uh, I did it. I have refined your crystallized charges into one energy well. Yeah, woo, energy well, yippee. Only like one more third. <laughs> Dang, dude. That's a lot to upgrade. That's what, 21? That's quite a lot, wow. That's a lot. If there's eight slots, that would be uh, 20 more. A Goron, huh? Oh, he looks like he's in trouble. What's up, bud? Potato? <laughs> You're a Goron. You should know the way to Goron City. How in the name of Hylia did you forget? Mm. Lay off. I'm embarrassed enough as it is. Besides, not that I forgot. When I left the city, there was still lava everywhere. I didn't know Death Mountain would stop erupting. The lava would cool and new roads would form. Mm. You don't have to tell me that there was lava everywhere. It used to be so hot that Hylians couldn't step foot on the mountain without fire-resistant gear. Even if I wanted to take a trip that way, I couldn't. Hmm. Mm. Well, thanks to this guy, now you can! First, we have to walk down the road toward Death Mountain, which you can see over in the northeast. Then, we'll arrive at Woodland Stable, and from there, we keep going north. Thanks again for the directions, fella! Happy to be of service. Using Death Mountain as a landmark is all well and good, of course. But, the red haze around the summit looks worryingly like gloom. Try not to get too close. Alright, let's go! And on our way, we'll stop by that bistro place you keep mentioning. Mm. Now you're talking! Huh. Well, that was a lot of good information, I guess. Uh, so somebody down in here, Pura said, had some uh, info for us, yeah? Hmm, I don't know who's... Oh, yeah, it was you. Atmos, huh? Hi. Uh, heading out. Please check to make sure your destination. Oh. Yeah. I think I already talked to you, though. I don't think you'd uh, say anything new specifically. Hmm. Yeah, is there anything new happening down here at all? I'm so sorry. Wait, didn't I already? What the? That's new. Uh, uh. so there was a path after all. I figured if this was the Royal Family's emergency shelter, there would be a path that leads to here. So if you follow it then. Uh, what's up, Jaren? About the path? Mm. Oh, hey, it's you again. So, you know, I've taken the time to say all my goodbyes. The thing is, it's always really dusty around here, so I work overtime to clean it all up. Well, I was working so hard, in fact, that the force of my broom accidentally took out part of this wall. Ever since, I've been hearing this creepy voice coming from the hole I made. It almost sounds like a demon growling. No one else claims to hear it, but I certainly do. At this point, I'm pretty sure I unsettled that demon when I busted up the wall. So it stands to reason that if it wants revenge, I'll be the one who gets targeted. Robbie, Grante, goodbye forever. Who goes there? Side adventures? Okay, we gotta check this out. What the heck? Ooh, this is cool. What is this? Royal Hidden Passage. Okay. What? That was a weird noise. What the heck? Okay. It wouldn't be my rent. My I just had a random thought. It's not Kilton, is it? Would they put Kilton in the game, like in here? Why would he be here? Hmm. I thought it would be like a horriblin at first, cause it's in a cave. What the? Dude, there's like smoke. What? Sense me. Okay, I guess I'll go this way. But what's over here? Now I'm confused. Is this gonna kill me if I go this way? Hold on. Oh my gosh, this is, uh, quite the wall we have here. Sheesh! Thank goodness I got a few more weapons. <laughs> Jeez, that took forever to go through. Whew! Alright, we got a bomb. And, uh, not much else. I just want to see where the stuff goes, you know? Oh dear. Oh, well, looks like we've exited far enough for, uh, 
the Tulin ghost to come through. Jeez, dude! How much am I gonna have to bust through this all? Oh yeah, let's go. Spiked hammer goes crazy. Uh, is this it though? Oh dear. How far does this go? How much am I gonna have to destroy? Oh my gosh. Okay, whew. Sheesh. All right, no frog at all. Oh, I heard something, I swear. Oh, it's you. <laughs> I knew I, I was like, I was so scared I heard something, but it was just him. Okay, well, this is uh pretty simple, I guess. I know there's no point, but I can always come back down. I just wanna see what's up here. Just out of curiosity, will this do anything for me or will it just put me out in some random spot? Yep, as I thought. <laughs> Where are the weapons? I'm gonna have to borrow these, sorry, pal. I'm taking these, I need them. I need to break through these walls, dude. I don't wanna use up all my good weapons. So I went through that way, what about this way? This way needs some work too. Here we go. Okay. Oh my gosh, it just keeps going. <laughs> uh, oh, a little hidey hole, huh? Okay then. Dude, it really just keeps going. Oh, for a hearty truffle, that's cute. And just some Hylian shrooms. Yeah, no, uh, no frog. That's good. I just don't wanna miss out on anything, you know? I wanna go the right way. However, I also gotta, oh my gosh, this is gonna take so long. <laughs> I also just gotta uh, work my way through the walls cause they're here, I gotta explore everything. What the, oh, it's a like like. I don't know why I was so scared of it. Probably cause it's upside down. Hi. You know, seeing its feet are kind of weird. Try me, bud. <laughs> yeah, just go ahead and try. Boom, there we go. Okay, drop a treasure chest and give me like a weapon, please. Okay, please. Weapon, weapon, weapon. All right, I mean, <laughs> whatever. Okay, so nothing in here either. Are you kidding me? It keeps going? We gotta check it out, man. That probably was not no, nowhere near enough. Thank goodness I have so many bomb freaking arrows, but oh boy, why does it just keep going? What is this tunnel? It doesn't stop. All right, well, let's keep it going. I know this is the wrong way, but I'm not stopping until I find out what's at the end. Okay, this was, what the? Whoa, oh, hi, pal. Why are those rocks blue? What the heck? You see that, right? That looks weird. Also, this one's freaking huge. Ah, hi, pal. Bonk. <laughs> this is blue, what the heck? Uh, why is it freaking blue? Another weapon broken. Oh my gosh, this takes so much. Okay, luckily we got some stuff. We gotta just keep doing it, dude. That's all we can do. Oh, thank goodness, another weapon. I need this. It's broken. Stalls? What? Don't fall on the ground. Don't fall on the ground. No, please. Yes, I need that. <laughs> yes, give me your weapon. Give me your weapon. No, it fell. Don't hit me. Don't hit me. Ugh. Don't fall on the ground. I need that. Moblin arm. 28, dang, that's crazy. Okay, yet another room. Jeez, this is just tunnels after tunnels after tunnels. I feel like I should maybe go and talk to like the weird demon voice and see what was up with that. Cause uh, I don't know, maybe there'll be like a hint or something? Are you kidding me? Caves under the, oh, this is so good, dude. This is actually what I wanted, but like, I feel like I'm gonna get lost. So far, I've been able to keep track of where I've been, but if it keeps expanding, I'm gonna lose my way. That's fine, though. That's fine. <laughs> fairies? Yo! Three fairies? Let's go, bro! Okay, we gotta be sneaky. We gotta be sneaky. Without a doubt. Okay, I, I gotta- I gotta- see this- This is why I have to put him away. Cause he's gonna freaking scare the enemies. Uh, wait, are these frogs different than normal? No, they're tireless frogs. Okay. Uh, I don't think I've taken a picture of them yet. Yeah, there we go. Chillin' by the wall. Okay, I want all three of these fairies, because then I'll have five, I'm pretty sure. Please, please come down, I want you fairies. That's one, that's two, and that's three. Okay, let's go. Woo! Let's go, dude. We got all the fairies. Okay, that feels really good. That feels really good. Having five fairies, I'm pretty sure. Let me double check. Five fairies, that's awesome. That's really awesome. We got everything in this little mini cave. Let's go back into this side and then head. Do we head forward or backwards? That's the thing. I wonder if I'm gonna make a loop. 
Like, I wonder if I'm gonna get to the freaking demon from the back side. I almost wonder. Okay, I, I'm also gonna steal that other, uh, Bacoblin arm because even though they break really fast, they'll be useful going through this stupid tunnel. Oh, man. It's already about to break another one. Gosh! I feel like I'm not making any dent in this. I do, I do see the other side, though. Let's use Rusty Broadsword. Connect it with this, and then make our way the rest of the way through. Come on. One more. One more little set. There we go. Okay. We don't need to gotta we don't have to get it all the way. We just gotta get it most of the way. Sheesh, dude! It's already about to break! My goodness. That's okay though. <laughs> oh my goodness, man. Okay. Where's this gonna put me? Oh my gosh, the loops are just endless. There's still a whole other way to go. Oh my gosh. Whoa, 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 I haven't seen you yet. Hi. Hi. Oh, that's so zoomed in. I'm gonna get zapped. I'm totally gonna get zapped. That looks so stupid. Ow, I'm going to die. Oh my gosh. There we go. Sure, I'll take it. <laughs> there we go. Zap have, even has like some special blue rocks in the back. I get out of here. <laughs> Whew. Spooky. Electric keys eyeball. I guess it'll have an electric effect. I wonder. <laughs> Oh, now another one? Wait, will this connect to the other room, or...? Nope, it's just another whole... room? Dude, it never ends! It literally never ends! <laughs> what? What is this? Dude. What? What the...? This never ends. I... I feel like this is like a final room though hmm i mean we'll definitely explore the rest of what's in here what the what why why is there like ganonness bro there's no blood moon okay now i'm getting nervous there's like actually gloom uh there wasn't gloom just a second ago have i gotten too close to hyrule castle what the heck is happening Okay, I'm actually getting really nervous right now. I don't want to, like, go and fight Ganon. Uh, uh, I'm getting super spooked. Hold on, what is happening? This could be a bad idea. I have, like, so little bows. Oh, my gosh. All right, we're gonna have to do this. I'm busting through. The hard way! Stalnox? It's a Stalnox? Huh? What? What? I was not expecting a Stalnox. Okay. What the heck? Okay, let's get him, I guess. Other weapons? Okay, there's a Rusty Claymore. That's not the best weapon, but whatever. All right, Flux Core, one pounder, you're up. I actually want, oh my gosh, doing no damage. All right, let's get the extra damage here. Come on. Oh, it's already about to break. Are you serious? Oh, <laughs> he's going boing. Oh, you totally just destroyed a bunch of freaking flint. What the? Oh, he's gonna go boomerang mode. Don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> okay, come on, come on, come on, come on. Uh, I wonder if I could. Oh, do you think? Can I have these weapons, by the way? Nope, not until I've been. Oh, get out of there, get out of there. Whew. I wonder if I could uh, rewind his freaking uh, like ribs back to him. That would be cool, wouldn't it? Oh, I kind of want to try that now. Oh, must be nice, bro. Must be nice to just cleave through it all, huh? Bro. Bro. I'm actually just trying to get him to, like, destroy it all so that I don't have to later. Okay, here we go. I, I want to see this so badly. I want to see if I can. I might die trying. Do it. I dare you. Oh! Ha-ha! Get him! Get him! Get him! Get him! Get him! That did nothing! That was actually pathetic. Oh my gosh. <laughs> go back. <laughs> I know it does like no damage, but it's maybe worth it. I guess he's running out of his ribs when he does that though. Oh, you took off your jaw. That's cool. I don't think I've ever had a, a, a Stalnox do this so much. Oh, your arm, huh? You know, honestly, I, I genuinely <laughs> don't think I've ever had it go this far before. Get, do good damage, please. That still does nothing, bro. I kind of just want to see how much he'll take off. <laughs> okay, I think he's done. He's run out of stuff to take off. Eesh. He's about to trample. 
Oh, oh, finally, here we go. Uh, I guess uh, Spiked Ball Hammer, you're up. Oh dear. Wait, hold on, we gotta just boom, boom, boom. Yeah, big damage, come on. Okay, that was good. That was good damage. Okay, but now his body's gonna start chasing after us, right? I think. Oh no, the eye just auto goes. That's right, I forgot about that. I think every time you hit him below like half heart, doesn't he just like fall off, I'm pretty sure? Dragon Bone! There we go. Well, he's almost dead. A few more good hits. Come on. There we go. That'll do it. All right. Stalnox is gone. Our very first Stalnox, by the way. Oh, that took some work. Whoa. Okay, 29 power, you say? Not bad, not bad. Knight's Halberd and Knight's Claymore, right? Yeah, I remember. I think the Knight's Claymore was definitely one of my favorite weapons. Just aesthetically. I always thought it was really pretty. Okay, well, we took down the Stalnox. However, still got a lot more work to do. We got lots of rusty Claymores now. Time to just uh, make them all a bunch of boulder hammers, I guess. Now I gotta mine up all this stuff. Bomb arrows, I believe. Come on, was that enough actually? Let's check. No, can I even blow that up? No, there's definitely stuff behind it. Try again. It doesn't feel like it's doing anything though. One more time. Yeah, I, oh, it is doing something. Okay, I don't know why I didn't think it was. One more. Okay, that should do it. That'll allow me to get through. Okay, I'm pretty sure with that bright cap, I've literally got every single thing in this room. Okay. I'm very much reminded of Twilight Princess. Oh, what the heck is that? Why is it so? It's an ice like, I see. It shoots ice? Oh, so it does. Interesting. Well, that's the first time I've seen this. Sheesh. Uh, let me hit that. There we go. <laughs> I did not know there were gonna be other forms of likes. That's cool. It also looks like there's a decent amount of weapons in here too, which is really good. Very good for me, because I was running kind of low. Oh, it looks like there's a wooden bow in there too. Very nice. Uh, watch it. Yep, now it's just spitting up a bunch of stuff. Thanks, bro. There's just freaking frost everywhere. What am I supposed to just... Okay, I guess just wait for it to go away. And there we go. Jeez, dude. What's all this? Ice-like stone, that makes sense. And, uh... Oh, and the chest over here, hmm? Amber, very cool, guys, very cool. Come on, something good, please. Oh, okay. Huh. All right, then, I'll take that, that's cool. Soldier's Helm, we found it down here. That was usually one of the outfits with like the best defense, that's cool. I wonder if you can only get that down here. That would be cool. Like if that was your reward, we get like a new fit. I would honestly like that a lot. Anything else in here? Hmm. I'm underneath like, now, hold on. Where, where exactly in the map am I? Yeah, we're pretty darn close to Hyrule Castle. No wonder there's gloom. Okay, I guess it's not as weird anymore. And it looks like, uh, yeah, it looks like that's everything. If I were to ascend here, just out of curiosity, where would I end up? Oh, okay, I remember this place. Yeah, this is right next to, huh. Okay then, we still got some more searching to do, so. Yeah, that's, that's one room done. Can you believe there's like still two more ways we have to go? This was only just one way. Oh my gosh, this game is cr There's more that way, are you serious? No, I didn't even know. Oh my gosh, I'm about to run out of stamina. <laughs> We're going this way. Oh boy. It really doesn't end, huh? Okay, this is getting dangerously close to like Hyrule Castle. I'm getting pretty scared. What the heck, dude? This is supposed to be a side adventure, not a main quest. Why am I getting so freaking close to freaking Hyrule Castle? I'm actually getting really scared right now. Oh, jeez. Oh, what the? What? Are these luminous mines? What are these? It's luminous. It's luminous stone, but like a huge, big thing of it. Holy moly. Okay, that's a little underwhelming, honestly. It only comes down to like one luminous. Uh, I just don't know why I'm getting so dangerously close to Hyrule Castle. It's kind of creepy, honestly. All right, I'm gonna have to start throwing some of these. Ooh. 
dangerously close. Oh. Horriblins, huh? Wait. They're dark. Are these black horriblins? Oh, no. I don't know if I'm ready for this yet. I feel like I'm going in over my head here. I really do. Yep, they're definitely like right over there. Come on in, guys. Trust me. Oh, you're like right there. Hello. Hi. That is a long freaking stick you got there, bud. Whew. I definitely need some power. I gotta put on the barbarian hell. I need a little extra power. All my weapons are so weak. <laughs> I lived on one. I lived on a quarter heart. Oh my gosh. Oh yes, give me that. Yes. Haha, -ha, it's mine now. I will use it to attack. Thank goodness I got all those extra weapons before coming down here. They are so nice. Oh my gosh. Come on. There we go. Whew. Oh. Black Horriblin Horn. 22 fuse power. Okay. Jeez, dude. Okay. Who's next? Come here. I want to fight one at a time if I can. I think there's one more. Come here. Get down here, bro. Come on. <laughs> Ow! What? What hit me? Was there another one? Yeah, one did. Oh my gosh. One did. I was literally focusing on one and then the other one came over. Oh, here they go. Here they go. Yes. Oh, give me that. I can't carry no weapons. Uh, I'll take away the stick. Uh, take just, uh, I'm scared. <laughs> uh, I'm trying so hard not to die. Okay. We do have some fairies. Let's remember that. Five fairies to be specific. Come on. Get down here. Yes. All right, now, if it's a 1v1, I can take him. Come on. Yo, you can break them, too? That's cool. Okay, we're doing good. We're doing good. Yeah, keep stun locking him. Just lock him. He's locked. I have no power right now, but he's locked. <laughs> it's early game, dude. That's how we do it. This is how we do it. All right, that was good. That was good. <laughs> that was really good. Oh, my gosh. I mastered the timing. That was good, okay. Oh, my goodness. Sheesh, dude. There's probably one or two more. You would think? Maybe, I just don't know. I don't know, man. This whole side adventure is just crazy with it. A treasure? Don't mind if I do. Maybe another part of the soldier's outfit? Mm, not quite, Knight's Halberd Halberd. Not bad. I guess I'll get rid of the Boko Reaper. I don't really need it. Uh, more stuff up over here. Sheesh, dude, it just never ends. There's just so much to collect. Endless things to collect, man. I forgot that, but whatever. It's like one little thing. How is this something I never picked up? A sturdy long stick? What? <laughs> How? Whatever. I'll come back for it after I beat up these luminous stone big ones, I guess. I don't know, man. Nothing. <laughs> It's so weird, dude. I like hit it and sometimes nothing comes out. That's so strange. I'm just trying to like make sure I get everything done in this area. Dude, I just want to point out this entire thing only had like one flint in it. That's it. That entire big luminous chunk, one flint. That's all it had. Oh my gosh. There's still so many more ways to go. I still have to go up there. It just, it never ends. There's just so many little side places to go. There's a red rupee there. Okay. Oh my goodness. Well, let's keep it going. Only only one thing to do, and that's just to keep moving. There are still... I'm like, I'm going through this whole, like, blue rock section. The blue rocks are very interesting. I don't know what's... You're kidding. No, you're kidding, bro. I can't. Oh my gosh, it doesn't end. Are you kidding me? It doesn't end. Okay, I gotta somehow slice this. Uh... Yeah, I can't get through. Hmm. Well, uh, fire should do the trick, one would think. Yep. Now, what else is in here? Uh, not much, honestly. I guess this is the little hearty truffle place? That's pretty, uh, pretty much it. All right, then. I'm telling you, dude, I'm exploring every last little section of this cave. Uh, I just don't like how dangerously close we're getting to Hyrule Castle. It really scares me. I won't lie. Oh, okay. I made it through. I almost killed myself by... <gasps> oh, there's more. <laughs> it just doesn't end. Okay, I'm pretty sure that was the one and only way. Thank goodness. Uh, Ruby? Yo, let's go. 
I sneaky. I have a sneaky suspicion that like it could continue this way though. Hmm. Okay, that one. That way is definitely not true. But what about this? This is now quite interesting. Carefully. All right, that's one. Ooh, sapphire. Pretty. Very pretty. It still goes. Are you kidding me? What? Okay. Hold on. What's up here? What's up here? Anything? It keeps going. How many? Oh. How many ways do I have to go? There's like five different ways, dude. All right. You know what? That's it. Yeah. We gotta start busting out the bombs. I, I can't. I can't take this any longer, man. Yeah. I've been in this cave for so long. I'm seeing roots, dude. I'm seeing... What is that? Is that a flame-like lake? Oh my gosh, man. It just keeps going. How many ways do I have to freaking go now? Bro. I don't even think this is a side adventure. I think I'm just generally getting closer to Hyrule Castle. Oh, and there's just endless amounts of stuff to collect. Let's be careful here. Oh, that's a shock like, not a flame like. Okay, haven't seen that one either. Let's be careful now. All right, all right, all right. You exist. Come on. I have long range weapons. Come on. There we go. All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Yes. Oh, come on now. Oh, I thought I could get him. All right, I'm gonna go over here this time. Oh, I'm out of stamina, please. Don't kill me. Whew. Come on, there we go, yes. Please! Oh, we got him. Oh, we got him. Okay. Whew. Shock like stone. Gotcha. Shock fruit. Ooh, a shock fruit. Okay, we only got one of those from a shrine. Yo! What? 70! Seven! I'm holding on to that for like the whole game, bro. <laughs> no shot. I mean, I am close to Hyrule Castle, but still, that is actually crazy, man. How close? I'm getting way too close. I mean, here's the thing. Hyrule Castle is... Oh, I am getting dangerously close, aren't I? Yeah, if this keeps going, I might have to end off the episode and just continue later, because, like, I didn't think it would go on. I was expecting a side adventure. Not, I'm going to Hyrule Castle, goodbye. Oh, my... Oh, okay, we finally found a frog, I guess. That's maybe good news? Are you kidding? It goes up and down, bro. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah, they can attack, by the way. I don't think I ever mentioned that. Okay, that should be death. Yes? Yep, there we go. Give me that. And... Uh, I guess I'll just, uh... Set this on fire? Yeah. Yeah. There's a whole lot to light on fire here, I guess. Just be careful to not blow ourselves up. Oh, this is it! Oh, thank goodness I finally hit a dead end. Oh, it's been forever since I hit a dead end. Oh, it feels so good. Oh, that feels so good to finally hit a dead end. This is it. Okay. Oh, that feels great. Oh my gosh, let me tell you. That feels so good to finally hit a dead end. I've been just going and going and going and just like past it, just been branching off. Oh my gosh. Oh, I finally found a freaking... <laughs> Dead end. It's been so long. Okay. I love this. Don't get me wrong. I do love this. However, I just, I was so worried that it actually just end up going to like Hyrule Castle and trigger Ganon or something. Oh, wait. There was this way too. Did I explore this way yet? I think I did already. Yeah, this is a dead end too. Okay. The time to start making our way back a little bit. AKA to this path now. Oh my. <laughs> We're not much further backward, let me tell you that. We are not much further... No way. Is this Hyrule Castle? Is it? Oh, hi, guys. Ow! Wait, that was nothing. <laughs> okay, free. Free, 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 free. See ya! <laughs> oh, gosh. Okay. Good? Good? There's still another one, I guess. Uh... Hmm... How do I get in there? This looks suspicious. Uh, oh. A path underground, you say? I love that. 
Love it, love it, love it. Nothing in here, right? Doesn't look like it. Well, let me hop on. Oh, it's a prisoner escape. I'm in the prison. <gasps> Yo, that's cool. This is how prisoners escaped? In canon? No shot. That's actually cool. <laughs> All right. It's cool that like I had to figure that out because of a goblin was down there. Hold on. I got to go finish him off down here. Come on. Yo, where do you think you're going? <laughs> Loser? Oh, you fool. You foolish fool. How dare you? All right. Let's go. Back in action. Plenty of arrows. Now, what do we got? Okay, surely. Oh, we're not in Hyrule Castle. Let's go. All right, I'm going to break this because there's one right there. This should be part of the other soldier's helm. Soldier's armor. Let's go. Yes. Okay, we've got two of the three parts of it. Let's actually put that on right now for a little extra defense. There we go. This is such a cool way to find the royal armor, dude. It really is. I won't lie. Such a cool way to find it. Like, making it a whole side adventure. That's awesome. Because, like, you just bought it in the last game. Just straight up. But nope. In this game, it's a whole adventure. Just to get it. That's so freaking cool. I'm so happy that I can finally start heading backwards, though. Oh, my gosh. Oh, okay, I already explored down there and everything with it, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, that was, this is the Horriblin hideout. Uh, that was where the little hearty truffle was. Okay, yes, we're, we're making we're making good progress. And this is... Okay, here we go. Whew. We're back in the place where we fought the Stalnox. Oh, I don't know if he went through this way yet. On the bright side, though, we are, like, pretty far back to where we were. Oh, this cave is massive, dude. It's so massive. Yeah, did I ever go this way? I don't even remember, bro. Did I come from this way? I think I came from this way, right? Yes, I did. Okay, well, there's still more this way. Oh, dear, there is still more this way. Like I said, dude, lots of paths to go. And, uh, hello, rare gems. Very nice. Okay, does it continue, though? Please let that be it. Oh, that was it. Let's go. Okay, this was just a small little spot for rare gems. Let's go, dude. Okay, now we're back here. We fought the freaking stall moblin and whatever. We're, we're making a good ways back. That's good. Here we go. Okay, I think we made it back to like the main section here. Yes, here we go. Okay, make our way through this big old chunk. This is like probably the biggest chunk. You know, I'm going to bomb this one. This one needs to be bombed, dude. It's, it's just too big. Yep, there's enemies behind it too. This will probably be where the pants are actually. Now I think about it. Because each one has been, like, behind stuff like this, right? So it only makes sense for the pants to be through here, I think. And I just passed by them earlier because I wanted to... Oh, hello. Give me a second. Give me a second. Uh, haha. -ha. Bonk. <laughs> and what else? Ah, a default like-like, huh? Yep. A default old regular like-like. Thank goodness. Something that I'm used to. And right there should be the soldier's pants. Come on, there we go. Boom! Oh, what an adventure, man. What an adventure this has been. Okay, I mean, durability up, cool. Uh, I guess I'll drop that one, sure. And then show me the pants. Come on. Yeah, there we go. We got the full soldier outfit. Whew. That took some work. That took some real work. I can't believe we have a 70 power shield right now, though. That's kind of insane to me. That's actually, like, so insane. And there's still a little bit more over here. Hmm. There's a desk right here. No books. No books in here. Nothing in this section. Let's, uh, see what's behind all this. Another chest. All right, then. Well, I got the full soldier outfit. What would this be? Okay. I mean, eh. Thanks, I guess. They're lying around everywhere. <laughs> okay, well, on the bright side, I think, correct me if I'm wrong, I think we've been everywhere in the tunnels except for where the main, or where the side adventure actually wanted us to go. Oh my goodness. Okay, well, maybe there's also this way. <laughs> also, these are so much easier to break than the blue ones. Holy moly. The blue ones were actually kind of hard to bust through. Uh, okay. Uh, there's nothing here. There's literally nothing here. What's the point of bu busting through this one? I don't know. Nothing here, though. This is good. This is good. We're getting closer to where we were. Did I go through this spot? I don't remember. 
Okay, yes, we're back. Okay, we're back where we started. This is good. Now, did I ever go this way? I think I did. But did I go the full way? Yes, okay. We've explored the entirety of the wrong way. Oh, that took way too long. Now, let's see what the actual direction is supposed to be like. Imagine he's just like, go the other way and get the soldiers, whatever. I would laugh so hard, bro. I would actually laugh so hard. You're kidding. It was this thing the whole time? Oh my gosh. Well, whatever. That's fine. I forgot about this thing. Ah, so there are some who still pay me homage. You can talk. You don't say. You can hear my voice. Yep. Now that is a surprise. What were you praying for? Long life? Wealth? Like so many of your kind? Whichever it was, you came to the right place. A dealer in life and power. That was me once. Alas, my life for money bargains didn't sit well with the goddess Hylia. She turned me into this stone statue long, long ago. Even then, I continued my bargains as a statue in a village. Still, the goddess did not like what I was doing. Yeah, it's funny. Uh, this guy was in, I think, Hateno Village or something. And I think his dialogue was the exact same uh, until now. I was banished from the main street to the outskirts of town, scorned and neglected, but that was not enough for her. Again, I was sent away. I spent time trapped in a pond with only fish for company, and finally here. Perhaps another might have learned a lesson from this, but I have not. No, I have only been biding my time for the moment when someone who can hear me appears, someone such as you. I'm sure we can reach a beneficial arrangement. I have dealt only with fish for too long, and fish make terrible deals. <laughs> now then, shall we strike a bargain? Hold still and don't fret. I'll take care of everything. This won't hurt a bit. Yeah, okay, he stole, he stole our life without uh, asking, I'm pretty sure. Yep. Back to four hearts. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Ha ha ha. My touch is subtle as ever. Note how I took that essence from you without leaving a mark. You Are you Ganon, bro? <laughs> there we go. Well, can I have it back? Give it back. Fa ha ha. Did you think I deceived you? Perish the thought. I hope that ours will be a long and profitable relationship. So which will it be? Give me stamina. A wise choice. Now remain still. Yo, I just traded a heart container for stamina. Well, it's whatever. It won't matter. <laughs> That's cool. I guess I had one from a, one from a heart, so I guess I'll go back down to four. You look skeptical. Not to worry. Money and life are all as one to me. If you... Uh, okay, yeah, that, there it is. Yep. Yep. Okay, it costs money, but that's fine. Okay, I'm eager to tamper with your essence anytime you want to return and pray here. Cool. A deal with the statue. There we go. Well then, um, <laughs> that was not the side adventure. Not really what I was expecting. Goodbye forever? Nope, I can, it was just a statue. Broke the wall and anchored the demon. I'll be paying for it with my life. Robbie Grantype, goodbye forever. Nope, it was a statue, don't worry. <laughs> you what? You went inside the hole? Did you find the demon? Is, is this goodbye for me? Mm -hmm. Wait, a demon statue was in there, you say? I know a bit about those. Want to know what I know? Sure. A dealer in life and power, touched by the wrath of the goddess, fallen to ruin. Then that must mean that the horn statue is an entity who deals in life and power, which would make the dais the place where it was enshrined back when it was still a god. So the voice I heard was the forlorn horn statue. As there is a goddess of light, then it follows that she would have an opposite, the horned god. Like light and dark, one cannot exist without the other. Their power manifests through the other's existence. Knocking a hole in the wall? That was fate, no doubt about it. I can't go in there, but I'll keep this area spick and span. And I'll be sure to greet the horn statue from here, too. Oh, and thanks, you know? Take this. Wow, dude. Wow. <laughs> it's Robbie's spending allowance for the next month, but now it's your spending allowance. Thanks for clearing this whole thing up for me. Right, time to settle the old nerves and get back to work. Okay, well then. What an adventure, huh? <laughs> Oh my gosh. I did not think that would last so long. But then again, that's just how it be in Tears of the Kingdom. That's literally just how it be. Look at all these. I have so many freaking extra boulder. Oh, all this garbage weapons. It's fine. Anyway, that's going to be it for today. I did not think that would go on for that long. I really didn't. But it was fun. It was fun. And we got the full soldier outfit, so I'm not complaining at all. Let's, let's take a look at the full fit, you know? We got to see the full fit in action. There we go. See? Looks good. 
Looks all nice and shiny. How about that, dude? Very nice. Okay, well, that's gonna be it. Thanks for watching, everybody. I do appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next episode. And we'll figure out where we go from there. <laughs> but yeah, have a great rest of your day. Thanks so much for watching once again. I'll see you all later. Bye-bye.